Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this problem. Find the intervals where this function, which is between 0 and pi, is strictly increasing. And I encourage you to do this problem without a calculator, without graphing calculator. And so I'm going to go over the solution right now. Whenever we see strictly increasing, we already know that's going to be an easy derivative. So let's actually take the derivative of f of x. Okay, so I applied chain rule. Now I'm just going to take the 3 out of both terms. And in order to simplify this, I want to make this in terms of just one trigonometric function. So something like sine 3x plus something so that it's a little bit easier to solve and find the range of x values where it's increasing. So I'm going to multiply and divide by root 2. And the reason I did this is that we can apply a trigonometric formula, which is this formula over here. So we have the cos and we have the sign all covered we just need this part right over here and that's where these two parts come in we can rewrite this one over root two as sine pi over four and cos pi over four and this way we can just substitute that into the right side of the equation to get great we made it into one trigonometric equation and this has to be greater than zero because it is strictly increasing Basically what that is saying, this has to be greater than 0, but going back to the original condition where x has to be between 0 and pi, I notice that this is 3x plus pi over 4, not just x. So we have to find the range in relation to 3x plus pi over 4, and we will do so by this. I'm going to multiply everything by 3. I'm going to add pi over 4 to everything. And the reason I did this is that now I know the new domain of this part, 3x plus pi over 4, which is here as well. Now comes the little tricky part to know when is this actually greater than 0. So let's actually draw the coordinate plane over here. I realized that sine is positive in the first and second quadrant, so we could rewrite it as... This has to be between the first and second quadrant, aka 0 and pi, but from this we know that it has to be greater than pi over 4, so let's actually replace the 0 for pi over 4. So that is one condition. I also know that if we make a full circle, we get back to 2 pi, and then this would be 3 pi. So sine of this is also positive between 2 pi and 3 pi. But our answer can't be in terms of pi over 4 plus 3x. Our answer should be in terms of a range in just x, like the question over here. And these are our final answers.